Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, shalom. Kohovo yimala yahu ba shem yahu shai. Ba Hashem kahakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who do rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jach Nanawaf. It's coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, you know, we're going to keep it quick. Just basically, a you know, a PSA. Just another, you know, the scripture talks about um, being not ignorant of a matter, whether it's, you know, being not ignorant of a matter, whether it's great or small, roughly paraphrasing. And we like to touch on all these. They seem like small stories, but it's actually a build up to these prophecies that the Lord, you know, has been speaking to us on, you know, as far as like the end days, um, Matthew 24, you know, as far as like what Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus spoke on um, with the wars, rumors of wars, which we can get that. But this is um, um, breaking defense It's um, air, air warfare, Pentagon, as Russia intercepts another U.S. drone over Syria, official warns try Umverate with Iran to force us out. So when I looked at this word triumvirate, matter of fact, let me look it up. I may be pronouncing it wrong, so like here. But it says, um, in ancient Rome, a group in, in ancient Rome, a group of three men holding power, in particular the first triumvirate, the unofficial coalition of Julius Caesar, Pompey, and Crassus in 60 BC, and the second triumvirate. A coalition um, formed by Anthony Lepetus and Octavian in 43 BC. Um, so, you, I mean, you get what, you know, <laughs> it goes back. It's, it's on some Latin type stuff. And we know that um, pretty much the Edomites are in control. Um, and, and this is old Rome again or anyway, you know, but this is going off into the opposing team of america of america nato um eu things of that nature you know what i'm saying so these these um countries are going back and forth and and these things were prophesied you know that that these things will be happening in the end days so we're nowhere living in the last days and this is why it's so important to repent and we bring out these these stories because it makes up a part of the prophecy that's to come right so let's go into let's get the scripture real quick comes out all the time uh, matter of fact, let's just go. I want to get the. Let's go in here real quick. Let's get that Matthew 24 we was talking about with what Yahweh Shah was speaking on. We got to bring it out, man. Got to bring it out. It comes out a lot, but we still got to bring it out. Because there are people that don't watch, you know, that don't necessarily see these videos. They might see um, that title of the video and may be like, oh, let me check into that. Or it might be recommended to them. Oh, let me. Well, the Lord is going to get this um, the lessons to whoever He wants to get them to anyway. Um, Matthew twenty four and three. It says, "As He sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto Him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of Thy coming and the end of the world?' And Yahweh Shai, and that's what we, we we call our Lord by His original name, His Hebrew name, Yahweh Shai, which means that He's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. We don't call on Jesus because Jesus. That's an I, that's an idolatrous word, an idolatrous name, an idolatrous um, uh, so-called depiction of our Lord. Our Lord is not a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy. The scriptures clearly describes him as being a dark, melanated man. If he was walking the earth today, he would be considered a Negro. He would be from the tribe of Judah. You know, Gabriel gave the name that should be given to him, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew tongue, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. Now, going into our father... You know, the world calls him the Most High, and they call him Allah, all these different names. But his name is Yahweh, which means that he is to be the existing one. He exists. That's his name, Yahweh. And there's power in those names, so you got to call on those names. And that's the reason why we call on them, but we will say this Jesus name. You know, we hate to say it, but we'll say it to let you know who exactly it is that we're talking about. But the name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. Okay, but it says, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am. They say Christ, but we say Mashiach in the Hebrew tongue. Mashiach, the anointed one. And shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars. It's the point right here. You're going to hear of wars. 
This is what he said will be happening just before his coming. This is what the disciples asked him. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So we've been started the beginning of sorrows. So this thing is moving pretty quickly. Well, let's go off into some of this here. Okay, it says, um, Washington alongside yet another intercept of a U.S. drone flight today. So how, are, how is it that the most powerful nation in the world has had multiple drones um, intercepted? And, and, and these countries are taught in America. They, uh, they don't have the respect for America like they used to have. That's how you know the Lord is bringing this place down. Because you never could have pulled nothing like this with America. Never. We'll see at the same time too. America know who's to you know who to mess with and who not to mess with. You know, they're they're running into third world countries and messing with these small countries, but they're not gonna run into no China. They're not gonna run into no um um Russia. You know what I'm saying? Because China been taunting them and Russia been taunting them, man. Okay, it says the Russian military also conducted reconnaissance missions over the American garrison. See, they they flying over American shit over there. Moves that a senior defense official said represent a triumvirate between the Russian, Syrian, and Iranian governments to push the U.S. military out of Syria. So, and, and not only is it does America have um, enemies, man, but their allies don't like them, man. So it's coming to a point where this thing is about to come to a head, man. It says, I see evidence of operational level planning between mid-level Iranian quad forces, leadership that's operating in syria russian forces that are operating in syria kind of the same basic level mid-level to upper echelon and then with Sir with the syrian regime of course we know they're very tightly tied with the russians the official told reporters on the background at the pentagon today so we know that hey this this is coming straight out of the pentagon it says so that kind of leads to a try umvirate they continue the way i would characterize it is collaborative planning collaborative understanding intelligence sharing frankly the same sorts of things that we would do with our partners in the face of something we were trying to accomplish we see them doing that on their side as they try to think about how they sync the different things that different arms of them are doing in order to put that pressure on the u.s so see hey, hey, it's going down russian activity against the united states and syria where American troops are still fighting the remnants of the, um, the Islamic State has ramped up since March. The official observed most recently culminating in the three separate incidents of Russian fighter jets harassing U.S. drone flights last week. It says, my assessment, and we have some evidence to support this, is that as Russia and Iran have pulled themselves closer together, that there is interest on both sides to push us out of Syria, to put a pressure campaign on us to have us leave. The official said, pointing to the drone intercepts as a key example. Another run in with the um, US MQ 9 Reaper drone occurred yet again this morning, the official confirmed. Com cu coupled with the Russian intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance flight over the American Al Tef garrison, the official char characterized today's drone intercept as safe but unprofessional on the part of Russians and said the ISR mission concerned a much broader search pattern over the entire 55 kilometer zone around the outpost. It says the deconfliction de line to ensure coordination between the US and Russian militaries is still actively used, the official said, with neither side refusing to an answer e each other's calls despite increased tense sense russia's invasion of ukraine in february 2022 there's a lot of back and forth they said sometimes it gets to somewhat heated but the line has stayed open and continues to provide a forum for that kind of di dialogue for example the official said the u.s did not have assets available to immediately respond to the reconnaissance flyover what do you mean you don't have assets you're supposed to be the greatest military in the world so america's falling off man it says so officials verbally pro protested over the Deconfliction de line Their complaints the official said Mostly fell on deaf Russian ears The ramp up in activity by Russians In the recent weeks Was maybe the next step in a gradual campaign Of escalations on their side The official stated adding that I don't see any trigger 
there were there was nothing different about our behavior at all beyond larger geopolitical motives the official pointed to the war in ukraine as a potential factor that explains the russians recent activity in the middle east the generals who are in charge in syria are often generals who were sent from ukraine after they failed he said so they come back they've got something to prove maybe we're not seeking to drive escalation we're just trying to continue to do that enduring defeat of isis come on man i think if you ain't defeated isis yet <laughs> god damn it says i think they may have different views with vi a variety of motivations that could be directly or indirectly linked to ukraine they said okay and that's pretty much about it and of course you know let's get a few of these comments uh This person says our military is weak right now with liberal leadership. They keep saying stop that. Let's hope not. Ah, uh, yeah. Once Biden wakes wakes up, he's going to issue a strongly worded statement, then send Iran billions of dollars like Obama. Man, hey, well, anyway, I just wanted to just touch on this. I didn't want to keep this long. But, hey, those wars and rumors of wars are getting hot, man. And we do know that the Lord, let me get this one at Proverbs. The Lord is in control of the the... The mindset of these leaders that's the thing and he can make a you know anything happen so so the lord is, is working on, on on behalf of the israelites man we, we're just waiting kick back just watching and waiting man you know all we have to do is just patiently wait and continue on praying for the downfall of our enemy which is esau edom the so-called white man he's our main main enemy the rest of them are too we're not with no damn syria we don't give a shit about no russia they all edomites you know as far as russia we don't care about no Syrians. We don't care about no damn Iranians. We don't care about no no none of these countries. If they're not Israelites, hey, you, hey, DTA to you, man. I mean, well, that's, you know, that's that goes to this country. But, hey, all y'all can get it. We just waiting on our Lord. Proverbs 21 and 1, it says, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh as the rivers of water. He turneth it with it so ever he will. So the Lord is, is, is turning these kings' minds around. You know, he's got putting thinking the way he's thinking. Uh, of Joe Biden, I mean, that guy is really putting on a good act of being senile, or he's really senile, you know. So the Lord probably didn't just done, done took away his mental capacity. But America's falling anyway, because that scripture, that there's that one scripture that talks about have um have you become as weak as we? Roughly paraphrasing. Hell, you got um North Korea, they over there testing missiles, you know, while South Korea and Japan, which is America's allies, just kick back and watch. I mean, they can't do number report on it. I mean, they got, you know, um, defenses out there, so to speak, you know, but there's nothing they can do. They ain't gonna do nothing. What you gonna do? Why isn't America going over there and just smashing North Korea? You know? So the Lord is putting the, you know, placing the, 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 the you know, the mentality on all these leaders to do what they're doing in these last days. And, and everything, and, and that goes for even your MOTB. It's a lot going on, going on in the backdrop with this digital currency that's coming in. Those are the last two major prophecies. So, you know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all better wake the hell up and realize that you have a common enemy. Because these so-called white people, when it starts to get grimy, they're going to get down on you. Because they know that they have but a short time. According to Revelation 12 and 12, they're starting to speed stuff up. As a matter of fact, they're losing, they losing it right now on um, these so-called UFOs. They trying to figure that out. They like, hey man, it's it's stuff flying in our airspace that that we can't control. We, <laughs> hey, so there is, it's a lot going on, man. We're definitely close. You know, we're definitely close, man. The average Edomite is is, is through. You know, the, the people just out here, just you know, um, vaguely happy, vaguely partying. They 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 can't have fun like they really used to. They can't do nothing but get high as hell. You know what I'm saying? They just trying to get high and just, you know, and just just get away from this place mentally, man. So this place is through, man. This place is through. I mean, what 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 do you have to look forward to in this place? You know, so you hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep and repent, man. Matter of fact, I'll end out with that. Let's get that Romans. Scriptures is real, man. These scriptures is coming to life. Romans 13 and 11. And it reads, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The prophecies are coming to pass. They're right before you. You can see them. 
if you can't, then the Lord has blinded you. I mean, I mean, and, and I'm praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that He would not remove His Holy Spirit from me, that I go back into the world of not seeing. No, I, I don't want that. You know, because we're too close, man, to the end. Verse 12, it says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Can't do that unless you repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. You have to know those names, first off. And then you have to just full, flat out repent. You can't, this is not the Christian church. This is not white Jesus, and He loves every goddamn thing that you do. You have to stop committing adultery. You have to stop robbing and stealing. You have to stop all the wicked and evil shit that you're doing, man, and turn from it and don't do it no more. That's what repentance is. Christian churches tell you, you know, people come in, oh, Lord, please. They wake, wake up every fucking day. Oh, Lord, forgive me. And then they drive into what they're telling the Lord to forgive them for. Oh, Lord, forgive me for my sins. And then just jump right in the car and just go head back and doing all the shit that they was, was asking the Lord for, or at least white Jesus, you know. But that's that's white that's Christianity, man. That's that white Jesus Christianity is idolatry at its finest, man. It allows you to be the most wickedest person on the planet and still be saved already. I'm saved by grace. You know the Lord, He He loves me. He He loves me. Uh, come as you are. Yeah, Y'all keep believing that shit, man, and see how it turned out. Anyway, I wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec. Didn't want to keep it long with that. Pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.